object seen on my back is the wind speed indicator and the wind direction. As you can find here, the wind direction having an intermittent dial response also with the wind speed I identified that the terminal IA M2 IA M3 IA M4 is for the wind direction and the terminal IA M5 and 6 is for the wind speed and also I just review a little bit with the operation manual with the wind indicator final drawing to find what is the possible cause of having an intermittent dial indicator for the wind speed and wind direction but unfortunately I cannot find anything about it but since I have a previous experience on it and I will make sure that the indicator instrument have their own rectifier on it I am going to connect directly the output of my anemometer to the indicators but further I read it again the manuals expecting that I might be find some tips on how to rectify the problem as you can find this is operation manual for the Nippon electric indicator type 55R what you see here this is the terminal 4 and 5 this is a cable output from the converter going to my speed indicator with a mark IA M6 also the remaining 3 to 1 is going to my wind direction I'm going to measure now the voltage DC from terminal 3 and 4 this is having 5.7 to 5.8 volts so that this is the reason why we have a fluctuating dial indicators as you seen on the wind direction instruments. Also, I am going to measure the voltage output of my converter going to the wind speed. As you can find, it's fluctuating much from 28 to 40 and as you seen my reading is having 4 volts to 6 volts 4 volts to 7 volts 4 volts to 8 volts this is a not good signal on the output of my converter that's why now i'm preparing my things and material to proceed with the corrective action that I am going to do I just switch off the circuit breaker for my anemometer and I'm going to check further the condition of my instrument rectifier that is a fan anemometer indicator with a range 2 to 60 meter per second as I check inside there is a 100 microfarad capacitor with 50 volts it's good one I check also the diodes inside the connection is at the back and I found this rectifier is working good so that 
I am confident to connect the input terminal of my instrument directly to the sensor and this output terminal cable I'm going to remove it and as I verified also those terminal 26 25 24 are the topmost part of the terminal block provided on the PCB my converter I am doing now a further check to check one by one each component the capacitor the ICs the diodes any trace of discoloration of contacts and components inside of the PCB the deep switch settings and some component soldered and I observe all of them are in good condition for this I believe that the problem is from the converter output going to my instrument indicators for speed and direction of the wind as you look here there is two light emitting diode keeps flashing and also plenty of electronic components are integrated and connected on this PCB so I'm expecting after doing my corrective job which is successfully done and made good as expected our wind and speed direction converter has a problem on the signal that is being fit to our indicator and that indicator causing a very erratic dial indicate indication with just little as this DC DC converter from the sensor we take out the cable here and we connect the input cable of our indicator to the sensor while removing the cable from the output of our W60R wind speed and direction converter after removing the cable I just connect directly the output of my anemometer cable 1 2 going to terminal 2 and 3 this 2 is connected on the number 4 and this 3 is connected on the number 5 by connecting it since they have a rectifier on it and it has a capacitor the AC signal output of this anemometer will go directly on my indicator by doing this we eliminate the erratic or not stable dial movement also 
we connect the terminal 567 this one direct to the wind direction but since we have this output channel A and channel B going to our BDR I can keep the signal cable from the sensor to be connected on the input side of my W60R wind speed and direction converter so that having the speed having the wind direction this will uh, giving input signal on that converter so that still our NAMEA output for channel A going to my BDR NAMEA output channel B going to my A step that's one bridge equipment are still available okay guys that's it I hope that you learn and get knowledge on how to rectify a problem with Vindicator known as Halimometer Type MM55R For additional scenarios, I've just removed the terminal 4 and 5 This is a power supply to my anemometer sensor for wind and speed direction as I removed it, you can find the fluctuation and movement of my dial indicator for the wind direction. As you can find, also, once I remove the terminal 678, this is from the anemometer output going to my converter, the terminal 234 to the indicator have no proper signal on it that's why you can find also the dial indicator of my wind direction become crazy it turns back and forward here is the item and material I'm going to use to directly connect the output of my anemometer going to my indicators and from Alimometers going to my input connectors on my converter. I'm going to fix it now and you will find what will be the upcoming result of connecting directly the alimometer to my indicators and from the anemometer output going to my converter as I connected the terminal 2 and terminal 3 to the IMA 5 and 6 I have a stable signal output from my anemometer so you can find also the wind speed indicated on my wind speed indicate instrument is stable meaning this is a good sign that we are successfully done what corrective action we are doing also I just connect the terminal 6 7 and 8 directly to the terminal 6 7 8 from the anemometer here with the complete connection 
of my anemometer to the indicator and anemometer to the input adapter or connectors provided on my DC DC converter and you will find here the terminal 15 and 16 is going to my VDR and 17 and 18 is going to the ASTEP for channel B okay guys that's it I hope that you learned something from it guys that's it I hope that you've gained additional knowledge on how to rectify some problem of the wind and speed action indicators our wind direction and speed indicator is now working properly so, this the one having a propeller that is our anemometer anemometer is for the wind and direction and speed monitor